everybody. This is Jed Mathis here with Helomatic Ask the Pros. We're up at the U.S. Open here in Bethany, Missouri this weekend. Uh, I brought a machine up here to kind of run around and do a free clinic, and we're going to do our Ask the Pro questions from here today. Um, our first question comes from Colton Carnes from Colorado. He asked me, uh, asked, how did I grow up? Um, what kind of environment did I grow up in? And what are the, some of the things that I had to do to, to become a pro? Um, I started roping when I was 10 years old, and I just never looked back. I, I never really enjoyed any other sports in high school or anything like that. I just roped. Every day after school, I'd rope. And then I worked for a guy that had an arena, and I would work for him after school, and then we would rope almost every night of the week after that. Um, as I as I grew up and kind of went to college, uh, roped all through college, and, and pretty much put everything I had into roping every day that I could. Um, you know, growing up in the part of the country that I did, we didn't have a lot of opportunities to rope a lot. So there was a lot of dummy roping, a, a lot of a lot of running a lot of steers on Tuesdays and Thursday nights when they had practice, and just really putting a lot into it. Watched a lot of videotapes when I was a kid. Um, later on in my career, when I, when I finally became a number nine, um, just to kind of let you know what kind of drive you need to have to become a pro, I would get up at four o'clock in the morning and take my horse over to my buddy Donnie McNeese's house and uh, go to work work from 7 to 3.30 and then drive back over to his house. We would rope until 9 or 10 o'clock that night and then I would drive back home. And we would do that three or four times a week. Um, but, but that's the kind of drive that it takes to be, to be a professional. It has to be, for a while in your career, it has to be the number one thing. And uh, it takes a lot of commitment and a lot of practice and, and making a lot of mistakes and, and fixing those mistakes. But it really doesn't matter what part of the country you're from anymore, uh, like especially with the advancements in the machines and things like that. If you've got the will and the drive and you can get the correct help, it, it can be done.